This court is constrained to conclude that the state has failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that defendant's claim of self-defense is legally deficient or unworthy of belief. Rather, this court finds the defendant was in imminent danger of death or serious bodily injury, and his use of deadly force was reasonable and necessary to protect himself from his father's lethal assault. Based upon this court's findings and conclusions, we have the defendant stand, please. Based upon this court's findings and conclusions on count one, which charges the defendant with the murder of Adam Castingway, defendant is found not guilty, and that count, and that count is dismissed. On count two, which charges defendant with discharge of a firearm while in the commission of a crime of violence, defendant is found not guilty, and this count is dismissed. On count three, which charges defendant with carrying a pistol, to wit, a 22 caliber Ruger revolver without a license, the defendant is found guilty based upon the defendant's pretrial stipulation to the fact that he did not have a license to carry a pistol on the day in question. On count four, which charges defendant with discharge of a firearm within the compact part of the city of Woonsocket, defendant is found not guilty, and this count is dismissed. 